So what are some of the features that Kira 3.6 has to offer and is it worth the upgrade? Stick around and find out. All right, so as you guys can see, I do not have the newest version of Kira. I've been using the old one, but I'll go and show you here that I am using the 3.31 version. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, check for updates, and of course it's gonna tell me there's an update. For those of you that don't know how to download the 3.6, I'll put a link to this down below, so you can actually go here and download it. Basically, Kira 3.6 is a newer version. I got the Mac, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click here. For those of you that have a PC, you can click on View All Versions, and if you have Windows, it's right there. But again, I'm just gonna scroll down, click on that and go ahead and install it and this is just going to be a few questions guys on what you're going to be using it for so I'll go ahead and skip this part so alright guys so here is the 3.6 and basically what it's saying is I'm not going to read everything word by word because I'm pretty sure you can do that by yourself so I'm just going to give you like a rough explanation of what it is so basically the gyro infill is one of the new features and that's supposed to be just a stronger infill giving your models a little bit of more strength um, and that's basically it. Port brim, basically all that's saying is you, it's supposed to give you better adhesion which is supposed to be integrated with your first layer of support therefore everything will stick better to the bed that you're printing on. Basically that's what it just sums down to. Uh, the cooling fan is actually a pretty cool feature and I'll show you how to access that in a minute. Um, well, actually, let's go and do that now. If basically what that's saying is that if you go into machine settings, which is um, which you can access by clicking on preferences, and then going into settings. Oh, I'm sorry, going into printers, and then clicking on machine settings. And if you go under the extruder tab, uh, you actually have the cooling fan number right there, which you can uh, modify. Now, of course, there's just the obvious statement that they make uh, that this is supposed to be a better version. It's not supposed to crash as much. The slicing time should be cut down um, dramatically. Another thing they added here is if you go to the marketplace right up here, guys, generic materials. Uh, basically, if what Kira is giving you a generic profile, meaning um, if you were to print with PETG, you can use this as a base to start off with and build up. Uh, if you're using C ABS, uh, if you're using other materials, they're all listed right here. PLA, I mean TPU. You can click on these and import these profiles, which Kira thought or Ultimaker thought would be a good base to start off with. These material vendors right here, uh, you can actually download their profile as well. So if you're if you're using their material, you can actually download the profile for this as well. Now, going on to plugins. Plugins is very simple. It's the same thing as last time. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about these. I've, I've talked about them before, but you got mesh tools that you can add in there. Uh, something I do recommend that you add is these custom supports. So you want to go and install that. Just to give you a heads up, anytime you install any one of these, um, it will tell you to quit Kira and restart it. But I installed these right here, and you'll notice that it's right down here. So this one just got added and um, you can do that with any of these. You can play around, use whatever you feel that uh, you need. You got a Z offset settings right here. You got the mesh tools. Uh, there's there's other supports that you can use. And of course, uh, they have the quick views, which they already had. Uh, but I would get, guess there was some bugs in there, so they fixed all of that. I'm not going to go all over all the bug fixes, but there you go, guys. That's basically it. There's really nothing... Um, too special in my opinion about Kira 3.6. I've been using 3.3 for a while. Why don't you guys go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you think. Is it really worth the upgrade or is it um, not significant enough? Stay tuned for next video when I'm actually going to go and show you how to use the support features on here on how to delete supports and how to add custom support. So watch out for that video. With that said, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, for those of you that supported the channel, your support is very much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, go and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, there's some links down below that you can definitely do that with. With that said, guys, good luck and happy printing.